and some Spanish factions are going at it. Uh, <laughs> probably not going to end up being much, but it'd be really cool if Spain unified. And the war is over! Yeah. Our oh, borders look all stupid. Woo! Stupid borders. Um, so, uh, but that was basically just because I didn't want uh, to fight multiple wars for stupid little tiny provinces that weren't going to matter. So, just take them all at once. And my selection is being weird. Okay, anyway. Um, so yeah, it looks, looks pretty good now, aside from these, and some islands. How's our Africa in going? Pretty good. What the hell? Select it. Select the actual place. So I don't want to do that. Okay, there we go. Um, and then up here. Oh, I didn't put my horse, you guys, down. So, my guard. Things going on. Things going on. Um, a little exhaustion, a little bit. So I'm gonna let that wind down while I think about what else I'm gonna do. I might attack Cambodia, but uh, I don't think I have the infamy at this point. It's been a long time since I've ever had to worry about infamy. Um, no, I've got plenty. So yeah, uh, I will cut and come back. Interestingly enough, Asturias is pretty much demolishing. Uh, Catalonia. Um, so, and they're actually at war with Asturias. Oh, they're at war with Asturias. And they're in this Occitania sphere. Occitania is in no position to help them, so they probably will win. Um, and look at all these rebel guys. These reactionaries. So we might see this. The, the great democracy of Europe fall to uh, becoming a, a, um, a monarchy again. Well, here's something interesting. An Asturian boat in the Central Indian Basin. <laughs> They're going to come over to blockade this. Um, We're allied to them. I didn't remember that. Let's get rid of this. Um, yeah, um, since Occitania is no... Well, actually, no. These guys are in Rome sphere. Asterius is. Asterius is the one that's winning. Okay. I don't know why I broke my lines with them, in that case, but, uh, it's fine. They're not a danger to me. I don't know what the Germans are doing building up here, but, uh, oh, no, it's just the Catalonians. It looks like the Germans are. They're, they were standing there because they were fighting them during the, the Occitanian War. Okay, so we've discovered bolt-action rifles, which is going to be only upgrade. Hmm. Um... Go for this. Increases our RGO and stuff. Really great. Now this is interesting. The Netherlands wants the Netherlands wants an alliance from us. I don't think this is in our best interest, though, considering that they are communists. And we may, in fact, want to attack them. Um, so I'm going to decline for now. But just be aware that they are doing that. Well, the Netherlands has declared war on Belgium, um, which was a part of their country earlier, and New Zealand wants to be annexed, so we'll do it. Silly, silly guys. Um, for, well, uh, I was about to say unfortunately now that now they are states. That's a fortunate thing. I just feel as it's 
unfortunate because it kind of games the system, but um, yeah, I guess it's fine. Now that is interesting. The German Empire has intervened in the war. Why did they do that? Um, probably just because they don't want the Netherlands to get any stronger. I don't know why they feel that uh, two provinces is really worth their time, but... Uh, yeah. Maybe because there's Germans there or something. The intervention means they can't grab any of the colonies or anything, so I'm not sure why, what they get out of it. Whatever. We've discovered late colonial ships, which increases our production output of our basic ships. Even though we don't use clipper convoys anymore. Ten percent, so it's nice. Okay, uh, I'm going to re-add keep to my sphere, because, um, I don't know, no reason not to. Um... Let's take a look at the Asia thing. Um, who doesn't... Who's not in the sphere? Manchuko... Well, Japan and the Russians are fighting over Manchuko. Cambodia? I plan to attack. So, it's really just Cambodia, Cambodia and Manchuko, which keeps switching sides between Japan and the Soviet Union. focus on Cambodia just to keep um, the Turks out. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. A meteor strikes Tunguska. I didn't show the uh, San Francisco earthquake um, because it slipped my mind that you, you guys might want to see things like this. But it's good. Big explosion. Awesome. Plus it's just closer to us. And the first con country to fall out of the common turn. Again, So, they're back now on our side. That's good, I guess. Now that's cool. Asterius has acquired a state from, um, Catalonia. Um, if Andalusia is in their right mind, they will, uh, they'll go ahead and take this or, or this. And they can't take, uh, Catalonia itself because it's their capital. Barcelona, uh, Barcelona, but uh, they could take um, Valencia here or Leon Castilla, Castilla. Uh, yeah. Then maybe they'll have like a big giant battle for supremacy. Now, um, Hearts of Iron may not be di may not be all that different because uh, the unification could replace the Spanish Civil War kind of stuff. Just. Asterius can be Republican, and Andalusia can be the other side. I forget. <laughs> but, uh, the fascists. And, uh, well, that depends on how the politics fall out. But right now they're both uh, similar constitutions, similar governments, but we could work it so that it's, it's more like the uh, Spanish Civil War, just so that it's, it's not all weird. But, it, w it was hard to do that with three major factions, and now there's only two, so that's that's nice. Now we just created Kenya, so we get um, Kenya. <laughs> I don't even know what I was about to say there, but uh, yes. Region. Kambizi looks like it's Kazimbe. Looks like it's the most massive of the available provinces, so I'll take that one. Well, there you go. The Occitanians have crumbled back into a, uh, I guess it's a presidential dictatorship, so it's not exactly a monarchy. It's, it's closer to, um, I guess it'd be closer to fascism than monarchy, but uh, it's not exactly either, so, uh, I don't know. Well, Occitania has recovered a little bit, so they won't be falling out of the uh, Great
upgrade powers. Uh, so maybe it ended up not being as major, but uh, something like that, like that could happen again. Germany has proven that it can beat them, and they're mobilized right now because they're fighting the Dutch. But uh, they're probably yeah, they're crushing them. So is this not really anything major? Time to host the Olympics again. Well, the German-Dutch war is over. I missed the screen, but uh, they got a status quo because they intervened in the war, so... Nothing doing. <laughs> yes! <laughs> this is awesome. Police state. Perfect for our absolute monarchy, where all the rebels... Crap organization game. All right. Especially this. And it reduces our militancy everywhere. We win the Olympics, and the people states declare war Morocco. What are they doing? Oh, wow! They're, they got the fascist party in. So they might, uh, flip fascist. Conquest. Cool. That would be funny. <laughs> now this is potentially the most interesting alliance we've ever gotten. The German Empire is offering us an alliance. Hmm. Well, they're the second most powerful faction by far. And they're the one they're the major power that is closest to us in actual government, um, with a section, the exception of the Romans, the Romans are still, um, His Majesty's government, or, or, um, Absolute Monarchy, I can't remember. I'm gonna decline this for now, uh, just because I want to see things develop a bit more, um, and basically that'll make us allied with everybody, uh, except Japan, because... We're allied with the Soviets, we're allied with the Russians, we're allied with Andalusia, Portugal, Knights, Papal States. We're not allied with the United States, so that's okay. Um, and of course we're not allied with Occitania anymore. But, yeah, that, that's a very interesting development. They've started to ask us for an alliance. I turned them down, um, mostly because I just want to see things... Um, unfold a bit more. We've de created Uganda. Uh, which is somewhere. Right there. Okay. Um, let's go for Rift Valley just because. So it makes our borders look prettier for now. <laughs> I don't know really why I, uh, broke my alliance with Hysteria, so I'll renew it. Um, that does prevent Andalusia from attacking Hysteria, because we're allied with both of them. But Andalusia has not done anything the whole game, so I don't know what their, what their deal is. Okay, a couple things. Papal States are beating Morocco's head in, and they're adding another uh, cause spell, or another thing. And Peru declared war on Colombia. Again, so probably just taking back what Columbia took before. And Haiti's allied with Cuba, but I don't really care. We discovered oil in Abu Dhabi. Which is a normal place to find it. Uh, but it still says that. Oil. Woo! -hoo, tons of it. So it's great. Alright, so Morocco has lost the Papal States. will basically cut off the Knights of Jerusalem from taking any of it. Poor guys. Um, but uh, they reduced Morocco. Well, they, they took their big colony here. They've still got this, though. So, Germany has that. So this is the last colony that Morocco has. And then It just looks like they have Taza left. So the Papal States moving up in the world. 
Okay, we can do a whistle stop tour. Which is some prestige and stuff, and address the nation. So, I'm gonna do those. They, they pop up every ten years or so. Okay, I see no reason not to just go now against Cambodia. Um, because they have three guys, and <laughs> I have tons and tons of guys. So, um, you should be in a board. Uh, just getting it out of the way so that I'm getting rid of the infamy from it sooner rather than later. And nobody's protecting it, and I'm the highest on their list. So, yeah. And I'm not going to show it because it's just three provinces and they have three guys. Alright. <clears throat> Alright. Easy peasy. So we have a good chunk. Uh, well, the only thing that's left is Burma. <laughs> so yeah, um, and they're in Turkish sphere, and I don't really care. So whatever. But yeah, um, got two places this time. So pretty much all we have to worry about conquering wise is maybe Burma if we end up feeling like it. Probably not. Um, and then people who aren't the uh, uncivilized. Yeah. Sakim, do you have a death wish? Apparently they do. You stupid motherfuckers. Well, this will be over quickly. Oh, look! Colony. Wait a minute. Was it seriously just one? Shit. <laughs> uh, okay. Um. Where's the best place? Where are the stops there? I guess we'll go for Kigali. It is. Oh, there we go. Well, here we go. First dreadnought. And we were the first to the South Pole. Check that thing out. It's all. Explode some bitches. Awesome. The first batch should be. Well, it should be finishing. Fairly soon, one after the other. Some of those are apparently sail ships. Some and stuff. I guess. Transports. But, uh, yeah. Including our new, uh, our new dreadnought fleet. Awesome. Notice we've broken 10,000 industrial power. <laughs> we have researched electrical power generation, which reduces our farm size and our geo outputs and stuff. Um, I guess. Hmm. I've been kind of slacking on uh, on. Uh, Commerce stuff, so let's go with this. It's got some dudes in it. We've invented uh, the polyphase system, which increases our um, electrical stuff. And direct current, which, again, increases our stuff. Well, that didn't last long. Is our democracy again? Thank you. Finished out the Saharan colonies with the Abate Abate How do you pronounce that? Um, so now everything looks good in North Africa. North Africa is a solid chunk. I'm working on this and this. Valley to be worked on, so. 
I guess I'll just use a guy from here. 